want to be free. And we want to have a good time. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have a party. Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Brennan Smith. And I'm Jody Guerrero. Today is Wednesday, February 11th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Did you know that February is Cancer Prevention Month? Have you helped by donating to the Seattle Cancer Society Battle of the Sexes Challenge? Boys are catching up quickly and have almost surpassed the girls. We have had $1,000 in donations so far. Remember, ask your family and friends to donate through you, through you to, our, to our great cause and help pre prevent cancer from taking more lives. And if we, have, if we make enough, boys or girls will have to shave. Bring extra money on Thursday to Wolfpack Hour. CO Cancer Society members will stop by for a moment to collect any donations. Together, we can make a difference. Speaking of CO Cancer Society, they will meet in HP2 after school tomorrow. Be there to help fight back against cancer. Laguna Sunrise Rotori is hosting a speech contest. The contest will be the morning of Saturday, March 7th at Elk Grove City Hall. The theme is Leadership Through Service and the speech must be five to eight minutes long. First place will win $200, second place will win $1,000, and third place wins by $50. If you're interested in entering, school group Mrs. Winslow and she'll send you the entry form, rules and judges criteria. Entries are due to Miss Winslow by February 17th. Did you know the Black Panther Party originally started to protect black communities from police brutality, but later started to help members of these communities like their free breakfast for children program and their free ambulance program? Be sure to come to Black Student Union Club and learn more about African Americans during this Black History Month. Attention all students interested in playing football next year. There will be an informational meeting tomorrow. There will be a meeting during first lunch, second lunch, and after school in HL8. Please attend one of, the, one of the meetings if you want to play football next year. If you have any questions, please see Coach Milgram in room HL8 or email him at dmilgram at agusd.net. Now let's hear a word from Mrs. Betancourt and Mr. Chapin about Sierra Donors. Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm John Timmons for Wolfpack TV. Here to interview Mr. Chapin and Mrs. Bencourt. On January 11th, they were both invited to the Sierra Donor Services 2015 Ambassador Appreciation Event at the Aerospace Museum. Mr. Chapin and Mrs. Bencourt were awarded for their partnership with Sierra Donor Services and for their involvement in helping to teach students about the realities and benefits of being an organ donor. I'm Linda Bencourt. And I'm Carl Chapin, and we're here to talk about uh, something very dear to our heart. Um, it's locally, the uh, group is called Sierra Donor Services. They are a chapter of the big group called Donate Life California. I've been associated with them for about 24 years, and I've been honored to be a speaker at the State Senate and in, in front of the House of Representatives and in front of the California Education Committee. And recently, Linda and I were honored at their appreciation banquet for uh, our efforts that we have uh, done for the group uh, while teachers here at Kasumas Oaks High School. We have presenters that come to our classes every term to talk about organ donation and the importance of it and the role that we at Kasumas Oaks High School can play as students and as staff in educating and helping people to make a decision so that when that time comes in their life that they are very clear about what they want to do. The benefits of organ donation and how uh, they can begin to participate even now. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. Reporting for Wolfpack TV, I'm John Timmons. Now let's pass on over to Sunny and Victoria for your weather update. Proposal is in the air and whatever is making everybody sick. Hey there, Wolfpack. I'm Sonny Wetzel, and this is your weather forecast. We really enjoyed the rain this weekend, but it'll be cloudy for the rest of the week with temperatures being in the high 60s and the low 70s. And well, that's all I have for you today. Now I'm just going to pass it on to Victoria. Brazil's worst drought in 80 years has brought a town back to life, but not how you would expect it to be. In 1969, the Brazilian government dammed the Jaguari River near Sao Paulo and flooded the town of Igorada. Over 40 years later, as the Jaguari River has dropped to 98 feet below its normal levels, pieces of the town, such as bricks, ruined buildings, trees, and old benches are now re-emerging. One former resident of Igorata claims that the re-emergence of the town brings both happiness and sadness. 
happiness because memories are, bar are brought back, and sadness because of the lack of water. More than halfway through the country's wet season, Sao Paulo continues to see little rainfall. The impact on the economy threatens to throw Brazil back into a recession. Well, that's all we have for you today. I'm Victoria Sanchez. Back to you, Brennan and Jody. Men's volleyball tryouts begin today and run through Friday from 5.30 to 7.30 in the small gym. Coach Jade is very excited to see you all and recommends you try out if you're interested, even if you don't have any experience in the sport. Today is the last day to sign up and donate at Thursday's blood drive, so make sure you get it done. Don't miss out on your last chance of the year to donate for everyone donating. Remember to eat, to everyone donating, remember to eat a good breakfast of iron-rich foods, get lots of sleep, and drink plenty of water. Your pass will be given to you today during the period you signed up to donate. Make sure you have your ID card with you tomorrow and wait for an escort to come to your class to get you when it's your turn to donate. If you're donating during lunch, meet, meet at the orange cones between the science and some world language pods. And at the, at the time you're past, uh, time on your pass, thank you for giving blood and helping make this blood drive a success. Have a wild imagination and love telling stories? Then the Creative Writing Club might be just for you. Meetings take place on Fridays from 3.30 to 4.30 in room HE3. Please join them on their next meeting, which is this Friday. Contact Shreya Kumar if you have any questions. Sophomores and juniors, Link Crew is looking for leaders to link the class of 2019 to the Wolfpack. Information and application is now available on School Loop. Applications are due to Miss Winslow in HM2 in her, or her tour box in the office no later than 3.30 p.m. on Monday, February 23rd. No electronic stand or late applications will be accepted. This Friday will be our Term 3 Food Fair. Come and support our clubs on campus by buying some delicious foods. Well, that's all we have for you today. I'm Brennan Smith. And I'm Jody Guerrero. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy. Happy